Hey, this is Chris with Record Talk, yet another episode of 5 Records in 5 Minutes, where we talk about records very quickly and not in detail. And so we're going to feature the year 1978 this time, so that was of course now 45 years ago. I was in elementary school in 1978, so I'm going to show you 5 records from that year. We'll start off with a couple of 45s. 45s are still a thing then. I still think 45 7-inch records are a thing. So, of course, we got some comedy here. We got Steve Martin in the Toot Uncommons with King Tut. This is, of course, the song, the comedy song he did. It was on the Wild and Crazy Guy record. So, you got King Tut on one side, and you've got Sally Gooden on the other side. So, that's probably Steve playing his banjo because uh, he likes to do that. I'm pretty sure they did this on Saturday Night Live at some point. And, of course, I remember listening to Steve Martin records when I was about 12. And there'd be occasional bad words. And my little sister would go, you're not supposed to hear those words. Um, what else was big in 1978? Well, disco was big in 1978. And so I found this at some point doing the thrifting thing. As you can see on Atlantic Records, we got some chic le fric with savoir faire. And so, advertising their albums on the back there, from the album Say Chic. Let's see if the label is interesting to look at. Just kind of your classic red and black Atlantic label. Um, I always kind of think of that as the Aretha Franklin label, because I have a lot of Aretha Franklin uh, 45s from like the early to mid-70s that are on that particular Atlantic label. Of course, we got some Chic here. Uh, let's get into some albums. So if you watch my thrifting videos, you know that one of the sort of running gags of the thrifting videos is the fact that Linda Ronstad living in the USA is everywhere. So there she is. She's got her shiny satiny jacket, the short shorts, the roller skates, the tube socks. We're ready to go to the roller rink with Linda Ronstad. She's living in the USA. And there she is skating. And you should never pay more than probably $5 for this record. And I held out until I found a pretty minty copy of it. If they're charging you $10 for it, they're charging too much. There's tons of these records out there. I heard this had maybe the biggest first pressing in history. Um, I think they thought this album was going to be a rumors uh, big album. I don't think it ended up being that big, but of course... It still went platinum a few times. Now let's get a little bit heavier with our music. So, of course, Judas Priest released the classic uh, Sin After Sin. So you've got their cover of Diamonds and Rust. Uh, you've got Sinner, Dissident Aggressor, Starbreaker. So this was after Sad Wings of Destiny, a little before like Hellbent for Leather and British Steel and all of that sort of stuff. Mine is a European pressing. I think it's a Dutch pressing because you can see it says CBS rather than Columbia. And so, of course, when you think of sort of classic traditional heavy metal, that's, of course, one of the bands you're going to think of. And then another thing you're going to think of of 1978 from the world of hard rock. You can debate whether you should call this metal or not, but you've definitely got... Guitar Hero at work because you've got the first Van Halen record. And this is my favorite Van Halen record. Uh, of course, Van Halen 1. There's David Lee Roth. And, of course, you've got um, just the freak out of a, the eruption. But you've got songs like uh, Jamie's Crying is probably my favorite. The You Really Got Me cover. Running with the Devil. Ain't Talking About Love. Atomic Punk. Ice Cream Man, yeah, I'm going to stick with my story that Van Halen 1 is the best of your Van Halen records. And so that's a pretty good tour of 1978. We got some comedy with Steve Martin, Disco with Chic Le Freak, uh, some pop with Linda Ronstad, uh, some hard rock with Van Halen, and some heavy metal with Judas Priest. You can certainly do worse for a year.